dear Ditch and Park parents and students, uh, this is a video just to really help uh, the students understand what I would like them to do. So the first thing we can see is the grip. The left hand position indicated by the blue line is where I'd like you to grip and those three blue lines on the fingers are the grip pressure points. Now this will be a junior grip. So the big thing about the junior grip is to try and get the thumbs facing down the center and just to confirm it doesn't matter if the fingers don't join here at the bottom so these fingers here don't have to join up but what we'd like to see is that the, the, the thumbs are in line and they're trying to get close together Now posture is a big part of a successful golf swing and this little exercise where I've stood up, arms outstretched, feet shoulder width apart and then I'm bending from that the hip position there and then dropping the arms and bending my knees. So to clarify, I'm going to demonstrate now some reference points there where the right hand is roughly a hand's width away from the grip. We don't want the arms too far out, which is that red line indicating there. And I've got a straight back. Now that's the bad posture. Uh, standing too far away and trying to hit the ball too hard. And then this is the close posture where you've actually stopped bending from the rear and your knees are flexing too much. So these are just helpful hints for the students then if we look at this fantastic golf swing here this is a junior who's very obviously very talented but it's one motion and for the younger students please observe that his feet stay on the planet at impact I'm all for generating a lot of power, but we've got to make sure that you're able to hit the ball with some balance. So, making sure that the feet stay on the ground until impact afterwards the, the right foot can come up and we can see there the right foot is up and if we have a look at this young lad's posture again it's demonstrating the rear is out difficult to see with the track seat but there's a slight knee flex weights at the front balls of the feet and a simple guide to the golf swing is this line here represents the shaft at address and roughly and broadly speaking the club needs to be swung in about a 30 degree window here in the back swing and you can see at that point if I just remove the lines this line is actually matching his original address position and that's a key a key reference point now if we look at a grown-up golf swing so this is a very talented successful lady golfer that actually competed locally when she was an amateur at Henkley Common and Blackmore Annabelle Nordquist when she was an amateur played a few events locally from Sweden we can see that there's a lovely wrist hinge here in the back swing there's a stretch here and then Annabelle goes completely through the ball and again holding a balanced finish so that's really the picture I want you to pick up it's a balanced golf swing Pat, I will help you with the power but we must make sure we stay on the planet and impact
So this is Lydia Ko. The reason I'm picking these swings is because juniors tend to be very flexible. And this is the driver. And again, we've got this grip, with the thumbs down the center pretty much. And we've got a lovely wrist hinge in the back swing. And all the weight finishes on the left foot. So this is just trying to create a picture of how I want the swing to be. This is only coming up for your third lesson. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. So what fights the golf ball? Here we are with the golf club and I'm demonstrating the incorrect way. So that's the club striking the ball with this sharp line which makes the ball top along the ground. And this has normally come about by people trying to scoop the golf ball up from underneath. Now the correct way is twofold. First of all we've got to get this shaft almost leaning the majority of the time to, towards the target. So if the target's here, you want to lean it at an angle towards that target. And also have the leading edge facing the target and the club head hitting through the ball, like so. So the design of the club is functioning as it should. Now, to help you feel this, there's this lovely exercise whereby putting the ball on a tee you put your grip on now notice how straight away I've tried to lean that club here to give me the feeling of what I need through impact and then I've mimicked a correct impact position so my right leg is moving into my left the weights on the left and I've got this the hands ahead of the golf ball and that helps me compress the golf ball so the ball will squeeze into the grooves create a bit of friction actually slide up the face slightly with friction and that helps me hit through the ball and sometimes mimicking things in the golf swing will help you learn better now that's the villain that's the villain that's me increasing my loft and then leaning back because I'm trying to lift the ball that's the good position so here we go this is going to be the scooping technique so if you often find you lean back and fall over after a shot it's not just about hitting the ball too hard sometimes it's leaning and that's me hitting through the ball so hitting through the ball and getting your weight on the left are the key issues with flighting the golf ball and compression lifts the golf ball thank you